Hi everyone, I am back here again building another house in The Sims 4. It's actually been a long time really. Um, yeah, it's been about, I think it's been about four months since the last video. Um, I mean the reason for that is it was in third year of university. But I finished now, so I'm, fortunately I've graduated from university. Um, and I've also started a new job and the new job it's a it's still a full-time job like I was doing before but it's just that uh, it's nine to five and I'm working from home quite a lot so I spend less time the day sort of traveling so um because of that I kind of have a bit more free time um so I'm able to build build houses again in the sims um but the main reason why is because I don't have to do any kind of uni work anymore so the last like few months of uni I had to focus on that um, but now that that's done, I don't really need to worry about it anymore. Um, so I can go back to doing this, which is really good. Um, today's house, I mean, I wanted to build a farmhouse originally for my first video back, but I don't know, I just, I'm not really feeling this new farm pack. Um, I like the gameplay aspects of it, but the plots are just not big enough to build like a decent farm so and I kind of preferred in The Sims 3 because you have more barn objects like you have proper barn doors whereas in this new pack you can place a it's not really a barn it's more like an animal shed but I don't know you just you can't really build houses that look like farmyards I guess <laughs> but um what was the inspiration for this house so I don't really have any specific inspiration for it I was watching a lot of YouTube videos on um, expensive hill, uh, expensive hills, expensive houses in the hills in California, and um, I was watching that, and I was just really in the mood after that to build something really modern um, on a hillside. Uh, still, one of my pet peeves of the game is really difficult to make, um, like what's it like split level hillside mansions look good in this game, and it's quite frustrating because you need a really big lot to kind of make them look good the reason you need a big lot is because all the lots in the sims 4 they're flat and if you pick a small lot if you try and raise the terrain too high it just looks a bit unrealistic and a bit odd whereas i feel like in this plot of land you can sort of get away with it because it is perched at the top of the hill or like the hills so if you raise the terrain a little bit it doesn't look too out of place still not perfect um it doesn't flow quite as well as i'd like it to but it does the job as you can see as well we were just building the garage in that part don't you can't really use the garage but well you can't use the cars in it anyway you can use the boat or jet ski but like i don't know i've never really used jet skis in the sims myself um but yeah, you can use the boat in it if you want. A um, few things to mention in this video. Quite a lot of it, unfortunately, does get does get skipped out. Uh, some of the building. Uh, the reason for that is because otherwise the video would just be be really long, actually, um, and it would be quite boring to watch. But also, I kind of forgot to push record when I was building certain parts of the place, so pretty much yeah quite a lot of that actually gets skipped out a few of the big features as well um one of the features i like to include when i'm doing like these crazy big mansions is i like to put basketball courts in them and from the thumbnail you wouldn't be able to see where the basketball court is but it's actually in the basement but i think i've incorporated it quite well into this house well at least i do you might think oh that's just weird but who cares well, actually, I do care what you think, but uh, in that case, I didn't because it's built now. So if you like it or if you don't like it, but you want the rest of the house, I recommend downloading it. The link will be in the description at some point. I haven't actually, at the time of recording this voiceover, I haven't actually uploaded this to the gallery. I might put this one on YouTube first and then upload it. I'm talking about though, YouTube in general. Um, I want to say thank you because we're on 48 subscribers now which 
I've probably done about 40 videos to get there, but I don't know, 48 subscribers is, is good. Like, I'm happy. It's a step in the right direction, I guess. Obviously, I would want more, but <laughs> I have to produce better content to get more. So right now, but anyone who is subscribed, I appreciate. As, I don't know. There is definitely better quality Sims videos out there, <laughs> but I don't know. I like to make mine, my houses, like, in my way, so if you like the way I build them, then I guess carry on subscribing if you think that the houses I build look like trash. Um, I mean, you don't have to subscribe, but you can, I guess, just so you can watch me build trashy houses, but that's up to you, I guess, really. Uh, this house, like, I think the main thing for this house, realistically, it's very going to be a very good house if you like to throw it, like a big party a massive pie um, lots of open plan spaces lots of double height spaces and I don't mean double height as in I've used a tall wall but like you can be standing in like the living room and you can look right up into the ceiling like the roof I guess don't know how to explain it, it you kind of get what I mean though. there's a lot of like mezzanines I think it's just really nice layout and the house ends up having one two three five bedrooms when it's done uh, which isn't a lot for the size of the building that it is but i kind of I, the amount of bedrooms in this house it didn't really matter because it was more built for like a, a party house um i didn't really intend it for like families but you could easily convert some of the bedrooms into family room like kids rooms or whatever but it wasn't intended for that they're more like they're basically designed as guest rooms but then obviously if you're this rich, you probably have like a butler, a gardener, maybe even like, I don't know, you can only get one butler, so, well, there's a spare bedroom for them as well, I guess. It's quite a nice butler's room, whatever one you give them. Um, and there's quite a few balconies on this house as well, that's quite nice. Um, I guess they're more like rooftop gardens, a lot of them. As you'll see, the house is very like split level. But I think split leveling, the new platform tools is actually, I guess the new platform tools is a big reason that I'm still playing The Sims 4. Because without them, I think I would have exhausted, exhausted most of the kind of design ideas I would have for a house. But with the platform tools, you can really go all out and make a cool building. Yeah. Platform tools are good in this game. I like the platform tools. I like them a lot. So we are at the point of furnishing now. I think we've been here quite a while. Um, the video feed that I'm using, or the playback, I should say, is a bit laggy. So it's a bit behind, like the real time recording that I'm doing on the voiceover, which is quite frustrating. Um, but it is what it is. So yeah, I mean at the moment, I guess we're building like the bar. I think that's, hopefully that's what's on the screen now. Um, maybe it was. So there was like a little nightclub bar in this house. And I think that makes sense because it kind of overlooks the basketball court. Such a weird thing to say that, isn't it? I own a house where the bar looks over the basketball court. Hmm, interesting. Um, and then you've got like a double floor office that's like I kind of think that it's like an office and then downstairs is like a recording studio um, and then the recording studio has like a little meeting area with like some sofas, uh, armchairs and like they overlook the garage because obviously that's what everyone wants when you're waiting to do your, <laughs> your voice recordings or whatever or your instruments you want to be looking at the cars in the garage or the garage. And you got some, I think, yeah, it ended up actually looking quite nice, the interior of the house. It is quite black and white, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, most modern houses are pretty much. There's quite a lot of, like, artwork on the walls as well, because I wanted it to be, like, really bougie. Um, definitely need a lot of money if you move into this house. I think it ended up being, like, 1.1 or 1.2 million, which, if you haven't played The Sims before, that's a lot of money for a Sims house. Um, most Sims houses I build are probably around like three to six hundred thousand if they're like this size. Um, 
I've got a few that are quite expensive. I've got one that's two and a half million. But that's not a very nice house. It's more like a hotel. Honestly, it's not worth downloading because it will probably crash your game. And if it doesn't crash your game, it will take you like an hour to get from one bedroom to like... In fact, probably in Sims time, it will probably take you like three hours to get from a bedroom on one side of the house to like the cupcake factory that was in the house. Yeah, that house had a cupcake factory. I remember that. Yeah, it'd probably take you an hour to just walk across, which is kind of long. Which is why playing in big houses in the game isn't actually... The gameplay is not very good. I think this is as big as you'd want to go um, when it comes to gameplay, or when it comes to houses for gameplay. Um, any bigger, and then it's just sort of not fun. The uh, the kitchen in this house was a really awkward kitchen to do at first because after watching these videos of these on YouTube of these big houses in California, I noticed that pretty much every one of them had like two kitchens, and it wasn't like there was a kitchen on one floor and then a kitchen on another floor. It was like a full size kitchen, and then behind it another kitchen. And I think the reason they do that is because you'd have like the butlers and stuff working in that kitchen. Um, and when you listen to the people that own the houses or built the houses, um, they often say that the like ovens and fridges in the main kitchen um, never get used, so they always look clean. Which I don't really, well I get it, because obviously you want it to look clean. But these are like £2,000 like melee ovens, just, just there to be basically like Fun, like not even furniture, just just to look at, um, which is interesting. But I guess if you got the money, then two thousand pounds for a meal of it is like I don't know me spending a hundred pound on shoes. Like, well, no, me spending a hundred pound on shoes is a lot of money. It's like me spending five pound on a t-shirt. <laughs> I guess that ended up being a horrible metaphor. I think is what it is. Yeah. Should pretend I never said anything. Yeah, but now, yeah, you can see like quite a lot of the double height spaces. Uh, there's kind of like a game room upstairs as well. Uh, the inspiration for that actually is going to sound really weird because it won't probably remind anyone of it. But in the Wolf of Wall Street, there's a bit where they're playing beer pong, and he drops his cup, and it lands on the floor below, and I just. Every time I build a party mansion, that's the first thing that pops into my head. I'm like, you want to play beer pong? And you want everyone in the house to know you're playing it. So that when you drop your stuff on the floor, the people below can see it. Yeah, I don't know what was going through my head when I thought about that. But something was going through my head when I thought about that. So where are we? Well... I think the gardens in this house ended up looking quite nice. The landscaping I'm pretty proud of actually. Um, there was a lot of rock work to do. A lot of rock work. Um, that's part of building a split level house in this game. You kind of have to... Because you've got to cover the gap between like the walls and where you've raised the terrain. Because you can't push the terrain against the wall. There's always going to be like a dip between the wall and the terrain. So you want to try and cover that with rock work or greenery. I think rock work always looks best. And if you look at the rest of like the worlds in The Sims 4, most of them have a lot of rock work in them. So you can kind of make it flow more naturally. Um, it takes a while to place all the rocks. Like, it can take like a, it took me like, I think it took me about two hours just to do the landscaping of this lot. Like to make it look nice. And the landscaping tools in this game, they're really, <laughs> they're really frustrating to use. Because you you kind of just want to build like a sloped curve ramp. Doesn't sound that difficult, but when you try and do it, it will always slope at like an angle. Well, obviously it will slope at an angle because it's a slope, but it will slope at the wrong angle. So it'll be like a banked curve, but it'll be banked in the wrong way. Because basically, when you use the smooth tool, it will try and smooth it out to level it in between the ground above and below. So what you end up having to do is build like <laughs> ground really high build the curve like ramp then build up the mountain the mountain the hill on the other side so that when you use the smooth tool it smooths it equally across rather than 
from like the ground below. It's quite complicated to explain. I might do like a tutorial on how to manipulate the terrain in this game. If that's something you want to see, then I recommend dropping a comment below because I'm not really one for build making tutorial videos. I find them quite boring to make, but if they're useful, then I don't mind making them. And who knows, I might find them fun to make because I haven't made one in about, in about 10 years. I used to make them for The Sims 3 on a YouTube account that I, I can't really remember the name of it now. Um, if I find the name of it, I'll post it in the comment section below. The videos on it, I remember being really bad, but at the time I thought they were like the best thing ever because I used to think I was really good at building houses in this game or The Sims 3 even. And like when I look back at them now, I'm just like, maybe they were good, but maybe they weren't good. But then every time I build a house in this game, I feel like, I think it looks really good when I finished it. But then two years time, I look back at it and I'm like, why did I do it that way? Why did I make that choice? Maybe that's just me not liking the house. Or maybe that's my taste in like design changing. No, maybe that'd be an interesting, interesting topic to write about. You know, if you're studying at university and you're studying design, maybe ask the question in one of your like uni projects. Do we, I don't know how you'd ask the question. I don't even know if you know what I'm talking about right now, because I don't really know. I'm just talking. But yeah, the landscaping in this house was a bit of a beast. The other thing that was like difficult about landscaping is I guess it's because the, the lots they're like square or like the, like the barriers to the lots are always like square or rectangles and there's nothing really like there's no houses on it and the, like the roads don't like curve around the lot so it kind of ends up being a bit weird so like it never really looks that natural it always kind of looks it just looks like a house has been plonked on a plot um so you can't build like cool houses like tucked in like neighborhoods and stuff like you sort of can into some of the packs but you sort of have to build up houses around it in the lot and then when you play in them you sort of see like all the glitchy bits where they like glitch together it's just never really it's never ideal i guess is the word it's quite fun though building them but whenever I build something like that I'm always just like yeah this is trash which is why you've never seen anything like it on the channel because I try and upload houses that I'm proud of when I build them yeah yeah oh fun fun thing that you've probably spotted about way before this but if you haven't I'm going to point it out there's a limo on the driveway. If you're wondering how you get that limo object, because I mean, you might be wondering if, because it's not something that you find in the catalog, you have to enter some cheats and it's in the debug menu. Um, it comes in a few different colors as well. When you get quite close to it though, it's like not very well textured. Like I don't think it was like, it's, it's a live edit object, I think. So it's not really designed to be placed on a lot. It's more something that you see in the distance. So I guess the textures aren't supposed to be great, but I don't know, I thought it fitted this type of style of house really well. Oh, well, I think it does. You might disagree, which is fair enough. But um, yeah, I mean, there's quite a lot of screenshots in this video, so hopefully it will show off the house a bit more. But yeah, I haven't really got anything else to talk about in today's video, other than, I guess, I'll welcome myself back. Or I could welcome you back to my new video, if you're a subscriber, if you're one of the 48 subscribers, then thank you. I would do like a shout out to you all, but I can't view my subscriber list, because it's private. I don't even think I can if it's public. No, I don't think I can. If I can, let me know, and then I'll do like a shout out on the next video to every subscriber, providing it's still at 48. <laughs> if it goes to 49, then 
the 49 subscriber? Nah, if it's like, I mean, it probably, it could go up to 49 by the next video. But if it doesn't, then I'll definitely, well, I might. I might shout out 48 people. Or I might shout out whoever leaves a comment. That would probably be easier. If you leave a comment on this video, I'll post it on the next video. If you leave a question on this video, I'll answer it on the next video. And if you don't post anything on this video, I won't post anything on the next video, other than the house that I build. But I don't know what to build next. Probably won't be much different to what I built today. I'm in that kind of like vibe for doing modern house builds. So yeah, it might be quite similar to this house, or it might be something completely different. But I want to say it's probably going to be another modern hillside build, just because I'm into kind of watching these Hollywood builds at the moment. And um, once I'm into like a certain build, I'll build that kind of house for like ages, and then go on to something different. But yeah, if you stayed into the video till now, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. Give it a like if you want to download this house. Give it a dislike if you don't like it. And yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.